I'm just going to slide this piece forward and show you how we measured it to make sure it's going to fit right into our space. All right, and that will drop down just a little bit and fit right into our cell. So, I'm gonna fold this back, and we're going to, oh, I have a little tiny tack right there. I wanna be gentle with it enough. There, and now we have a straight line. Any little bits left, which is probably just another little cut with our blade. Excuse me, Stella. I just gotta get in there and get this piece out. Let's scoop, we're gonna scoop those, we're gonna scoop the knee pad forward. There we go. <laughs> I finally got myself a new knee pad. All right, I think I wore the old one out. No, <laughs> Actually, I couldn't find it. I think one of the guys took off with it. All right, I'm gonna have to do a little deeper cut on that. Still. Oh, it's got a staple in it. It's got a staple right there. So, I am going to pull that out and recut it again. So we get down, so it's flush. Yes, yeah, Stella, we want it flush and even. There. All right, there. See, there's the staple. Let me just get in there. See if I can get that out. I'm gonna need a plier instead. Let's go with that. So now we should have a smooth line for us to slide the drywall back through and fit it into place. All right, here we go. Let's take this out of the way so it's not in our way here. All right. Make our adjustments where we need to. Make sure it's flush up against the floor. I'm doing a little shaving. It's a little low spot right there. Just a little low spot, Stella. So I just gotta shave it a little bit. Take a C hair off of it. Just a little bit. If you stand there, you're gonna get dust all over you. You're gonna get drywall dust all over you. So we can make sure that it fits into the spot. I'm gonna go ahead and just vacuum up any little pieces that might fall on the floor here and get in our way. And it helps if I have a battery. <laughs> I'm going to have to steal it. Let's steal it from one. And put it in the other. All right. Look out, it's gonna make the noise and you're gonna bark. sticking out. Now I gotta slide back, Stella. Look out. Coming back to you, Stella. Here we go. All right. Let's pull this out. Pull it back. Oops. Yeah, Stella. You gonna help me, Stella? Oh. We're gonna extract this staple from the wall. Come on. I gotta get a good grip on it, though. That's in there pretty good. Let's go the other direction. wasn't coming out the other way. Yeah, got it. All right, tooth down. All right, and 
the other way. Yeah, so am I boring you? No. The other thing to do is we know where our end joists are, but we don't necessarily know where the middle joists are. So you can simply put a screw up here to hold it, or and you can mark your floor either side, put an X in the middle, right there, and right there. But the other way to do it, Stella, silly Stella, we forgot to switch our batteries back. Yes. If I'd been smart, I would have put a battery in each one, but I didn't, but I didn't, Stella. All right, take a drywall screw. Oh, there's one in there too, and then one over there. That's not gonna help us too much, is it? But I got lots of staples to take out. And then it's a small enough area that just putting a little screw in there, don't break your paper but you want to get it flush in there, okay? So you go a little bit slower. If you zit, 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 even before you know it, you're gonna go right through that drywall. So I go slow and steady, or try to anyways. All right, let's get these ones out too. It's not gonna sit flush if I have these in there. Get that tight. All right, and work it out. See, that tooth was much easier to get. All right, so it might look a little weird that I'm using a channel lock here, but that's exactly why I use it, as I can slide it up, make it as tight as I want, and I can roll that brad or staple right out. So keep going in and take it right out. Now, now, have I got them all? Stella, did I get them all? Let's check our, let's check our wood. Are you sure I don't have anything sticking out of the wood? All right. Now, now, Stella, I should be good to place my, still, still a little high. And then my, then my knee pads are in the way. Let's go get those out of the way. Let's see if we can snug it up and in. It's not gonna fit. Oh, mouse, we got one more. Just when I think we had them all, there's, but there, wait, wait, there's one more. All right, so I don't really don't wanna roll it back on the. Uh... It's ripping and roll. There we go. All right, last one. I had one more hiding. I had one more hiding in there. I know I already vacuumed it, but then we had to do some more shaving, so I'm just sweeping it out of the way. We're just sweeping it back, Stella. Yeah, we get sweeping it out of the way. Let's bring it in. Let's bring it in. Let's slide it down. Come on. Let's slide that drywall down. Put it into place. <sighs> and it fits. Yeah. All right, so I know I have a stud here. I know I have a stud here. We know it's here at the end. And I have my markings down below, and my marking down below, and my marking here. So now we can start in on one end. I'll start back here, since my knee pads are back here. Okay, let's get that screw here. There, I hit the chuck. Uh, so, and I didn't break the paper, but I laid it in flat. So now I've got it all tacked up so that I can start working. And now I don't have to hold it in place. It's tacked up and I can start working my edges and start screwing away. One, 